Hi guys, so all the girls are in there right now. And the one that is right there is Anastasia. And I have, as you guys can also see, the wheel is not in there. And I have spent all night debating what to do with my comfort wheel. It's an eight and a half inch wheel. And I'm not really sure. So I was sure looking online to, to see if there was a way to make this wheel quieter because I was thinking about getting a silent spinner. Um, the plastic's a bit thicker and they're a lot quieter, but I read a lot of mixed reviews. A lot of people said they're really, really great for journals. Other people said they destroy them to bits. Other people say they don't use them. Other people say that they break and start getting louder as you use them. It all kind of runs very back front. Fr they it, they have a very bouncy run, um, and this wheel has a bit of leeway, while the silent speed is silenced and is a bit more hard. So I read... I looked on this guy on YouTube, and he is a lifesaver, so I'm going to be posting his link below. This idea is not mine at all, so please check down his link as well, and I'll put him in the description box. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to either get a pair of pliers or pinch this middle part together. So you're just going to pinch that together. Pliers are probably a better idea. So there. And you just pull it out, and here's your wheel, and here's your base. So, on this base, you guys can see that there's a little bit of a lip here. You don't want to put the tape on this lip, and you don't want to put it on this prong part either. There's a space in between that you're going to want to put it. So, what you do is you get some clear masking tape. I wouldn't really recommend duct tape as it's a bit too thick, so I just have some clear duct tape here. And you're going to want a pair of scissors. I couldn't find scissors, so I just use these little ones. Um, so basically what you're going to want to do is take enough tape to wrap it around the wheel, or the axle, one to two times. So, I have already done this. I don't know if you guys can actually see, but there is tape on here. So you just wrap it around, and it makes these little edges smoother. Um, and you will probably need to replace this if it starts getting loud. I don't know how long that will take. The guy on YouTube said probably every year or so, so that sounds good to me. Um, another recommendation he said that you can do to make it quiet is put canola oil or cooking spray or anything really on this axle just to make it a bit more flexible. So you guys know what comfort wheels sound like, I'm assuming if you're watching this video. Um, so I'm going to put this back on and you just want to click it on, wait for that little snap, make sure everything's okay. And I just want you guys to listen if Mara will shush. As you guys can hear, there's really no noise. So I'm going to put it in the cage and show you. So I know you guys think it's probably really difficult to see right now because there is a massive glare from my window. I don't know how people record with aquariums. It's nearly impossible. So this is um, Anastasia and Matilda, and here is Natalia coming out. So I'm going to try my best to get this in here without them jumping out. Because they are very, very good jumpers. Excuse me, baby. Excuse me. Oh my gosh, they really, really like me because I was hand feeding them the other day. So I put the wheel in. I haven't put bedding over it yet, but that's Anastasia right there. Um. So yeah, we're just gonna watch them. Do you there. Do you hear how quiet that is? That's amazing. I think I'm going to put um, oil on it because it looks like they're having a bit of difficulty um, moving it. But Especially um, Matilda, the one on the wheel currently, she definitely enjoys running as fast as possible. Um, also, do you guys have, have any idea what colour um, Anastasia is over here? She's kind of white grey and she has... Gr what is she doing? She has grey on her back. So she's definitely like um, a molted. But I don't know of what colour. Like if you guys can see that at all. I don't know what colour that is. Um, she's a Siamese or a sable. I always call it a sable but I guess it's called Siamese. And then she is a black or a slate um, molted or spotted I believe. So if you guys can tell me what she is. Because I have no idea. She's a very pretty girl though. Um, yeah, so I already started feeding them, and they are just in love with my hands. I think they're definitely younger. They, the woman said they're under six months, but obviously over five weeks. Um, 
they really, really adapted well, and they just adore my hand. Um, so if you guys have any idea what color they are or how old they might be, because they seem pretty small. Like if you guys can see in comparison to my finger. Oh, that doesn't work because I'm not in there. But do you see how small they are? I feel like they're very, very tiny. Oh my gosh, there's so much glare. Go down. Do you see how small she is? So I have no idea how old they are. So if you guys have any idea on how old they are, what coloring they are, that would be really, really great. I would love to hear. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. As you guys can see, um, this is day one of having them still. It hasn't been 24 hours, but they have adjusted amazingly, especially with each other. Oh, look, she's doing it too. They've been taking... Um, Matilda's been taking paper shreds and putting it in the house, and I haven't seen any of the others doing it, but I'm always just been doing that, so that's pretty cool. Hey babies, they're really, really, really friendly creatures. Um, if you guys want me to tell you about their personalities, or if you guys want to ask me what pet would be great for you, because, um, hamsters are really good for most people, but I don't know why, I just, d they didn't work well for me, personally. So, yes. Um, also, if you guys have any hut recommendations that are slightly bigger than this one, but are wooden, that'd be really, really great, because this one's great, they can all fit in it now, but if they're getting any bigger, I don't think they're all going to fit in it. I did get this one, but no one's interested at all in using it, so, thank you guys for watching so much, I know this video is a bit drawn out, please check out this guy's video, it is super helpful, and it's ridiculously quiet, and I don't have to go buy a new wheel. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching, bye!